hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how to get this pretty pink um it's like a cut crease slash halo eye i had a lot going on i was doing a lot um but i'm starting off with the la girl pro concealer and that is in the color porcelain and i'm just going to blend that out um it is going to help with the pigmentation of the eyeshadow just to make it that much brighter and i did already do my eyebrows off camera you guys have seen my eyebrow routine so then think i needed to do it again and this is the um pretty and pink juvia's place palette i am using that color um all the way on the bottom left hand corner and i am using that as a transition shade um like right in my crease and a little bit above and next i'm using the shade in the bottom right hand corner as um a shade on top of that one the first one was just a little too light for me so i had to go over it with the other color um just to make it a little bit more pigmented and i am using a morphe blending brush and i'm not sure which brush this is but it is amazing top notch and then i am going in with another brush to just blend it even further just to make sure that there aren't any harsh lines or anything like that we just want to make sure that everything is 100 percent blended and um you know it just meshes together and just blends really well next i'm using the color in the middle um, at the top um, and i am using this directly in my crease and also on my outer and inner corner a little bit later but this color was definitely not as dark as i thought it was going to be um, i thought it was going to be a little bit darker and a little bit more i don't know on the purple side um but it ended up being um, a little bit lighter than i expected but it still made the look pretty you know pretty cool so again i am going ahead and blending that color out um right where that color and the previous color meet just blending it out again so there aren't any harsh lines and i am doing that on both sides just to make sure that everything is seamless and perfectly blended and then next i am going to go in um, a little bit later and just cut my crease now if you're anything like me like it takes a lot to cut my crease like i gotta lift my eyebrow up i gotta do a whole lot <laughs> just nonsense and i am going in with that same concealer that i used in my crease um the la girl pro concealer in porcelain it's just like the brightest one that they have and it makes the colors really pigmented so i'm using that to cut my crease and then um, after I go ahead and put all of the concealer down, I do blend it out with my beauty blender just to make sure that um, nothing is still wet and it doesn't um, crease or like move around um, before it dries. So just want to make sure that everything is 100% um, together and neat. And I also try to make them as even as possible. Obviously it's not gonna be perfect, but I try to get close to it and then again i do the exact same thing on the other side just making sure that everything is blended and then next i just go in with a little detailer brush with that last color that i used and just kind of go right over the crease just to make the crease pop even more um, and it just helps um, make the crease stand out and next i'm taking the color in the top right corner and I am going to pack that onto my eyelid right over the concealer. Um, and I just pack it on pretty heavily um, because it is a shimmer. But I do really like how it looks um, a little bit of a darker pink um, and not super soft. But I do like it for the lid because it is a shimmer. And I'm going in again with that same crease color and just going um, over top of my outer and inner corner and this is kind of where it becomes a little bit of a halo eye because i did take that color and put it in the beginning just because i don't know it was like looking weird to me with just the regular cut crease i was like let me do something a little different let me do like a cut crease halo eye situation so i think it actually turned out pretty good now honestly this was not like a difficult look to do um, it was pretty easy and honestly it's not 
um, too time consuming. There's like three colors. And like for me, um, it was really like an okay look. But once I put the lashes on, it just made it that much better. And then I am going in with my, gosh, what primer is this? I'm pretty sure this is my Benefit Professional Primer. And I used a lot and that was definitely on accident. I looked ashy once I was done rubbing it all in but it's good because i need my face to be matte because i'm really oily and then i'm going in with my extreme essence mascara and i just use that to kind of set my brows um and just kind of get some of the powder off of my brows from like doing the other things that i was doing and it just helps them be a little bit darker since i don't have any black um like pots now and those are the but like those are all the foundations i mixed together to create this foundation now i did put it on pretty heavily and i really wanted a full coverage look i was just testing it out to see how i like it like super super full coverage um without any of my dark spots or anything showing and it was pretty cool like it was pretty decent um, I know it looks like really crazy right now and like super duper wet, but then I just go with my beauty blender and it absorbs all of the excess product and then it's just like a perfect face. <laughs> so we love that. Um, but I am just, like I said, going in and just making sure to pick up any excess product. And then I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer and also the Maybelline um, Instant Age Rewind um concealer also um i use that later and i'm just gonna go ahead and conceal underneath my eyes um i'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose uh, my forehead and then also my chin just a little bit um, and i do put quite a bit underneath my eyes just because i like to have that flawless under eye look and I kind of want to look airbrushed, <laughs> especially since this is a tutorial and I'm not really going anywhere, but you know, I just like to look amazing when I finally do my makeup. And now I'm just going to go ahead and blend all of that out and just make sure to blend all of the harsh edges um, and to make sure that there isn't any like bumps or anything like that. And then I am gonna go ahead afterwards and set my face. Um, I am setting my concealer with the, I think it's Airspun. Yeah, so it's the Airspun um, loose face powder that I'm about to use. And honestly, like, I like it, but it does leave like a little bit of a cast and um, I know how to get rid of it, but I really am thinking about trying the Ben Eye Banana Powder. Um, probably not the banana shade, but you know, I like that powder just because it is yellow toned. And this is kind of like giving me ashy vibes, but I still keep using it because oh, I have so much product left and I'm just trying to get rid of it. But at this point, I'm just going to get the Ben Eye Powder and just try it. But yeah, so just setting my face and just making sure everything is um, a-okay and next i'm going in and doing my brow bone highlight um and this is from the james charles palette it's like a gold eyeshadow and i use it underneath my brows on my brow bone and then um, i use it on my inner corners just to make those pop a little bit more and then i also go um on my nose on the tip of my nose and then down the bridge of my nose and i put like a little bit too much i was like Ooh, let me go ahead and wipe some of that off it was looking a little shiny <laughs> and then i am going to go ahead and with my blush this is the revlon blush i don't i don't even know what color that's in um and i am just putting the blush on i'm going a little heavy with the blush today just because i have pink eyeshadow so i kind of want it to be seen a little bit and then um i am going to go in with my contour it's another james charles eyeshadow um and i just use a dark brown to carve out my face just to make sure i look chiseled and then i'm spraying my face with the mario badass you spray it's the green tea one and then I am going with that same gold eyeshadow again just to highlight my cheekbones. 
and then next i'm going in with a nude lip gloss there's like two one is like a darker nude um, and i put that on first and then um, i do go in with the lighter nude and then i just go in on the center just to make the center look a little bit lighter it's kind of all about contouring like with the lips like you just got to make it appear like your lips are regular size because my lips are small so i'll be having to do extra but i'm not gonna overline them so i'm not doing it and then i'm gonna go in with my gosh what is this my lip liner from um nyx and i'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye guys